Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt, I've only done this once, I'm going to attempt to show you how to draw this. And if you will take a screenshot right now of this, this is what you need. So we're going to make it, or try to make it. Let's move this out of the way. First of all, I need to take a polygon that has six sides. I really only need the center box or the top the top lid of this. So I'm going to take a two-point line, go from about the center outwardly. Whoop, I missed it. Center outwardly, got to be on that node, then node to center. I only need this top square. So I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to nudge it over. I don't need this other part anymore. So I'm going to nudge this back. I'm going to left click, right click, but I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Because then I'm going to go to object, or excuse me, effects and contour. I'm going to con I just made up a number of 0.45. Okay. I'm going to take, I don't have to break it apart. I'm just going to do that right now. So that is our interior part of our box. A left click, right click. Now the same 0.45, change my nudge factor to 0.45. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to make that right there. I'm going to get a two point line. I'm going to go from there to there. Just make sure you're on the node for this to work. Now I'm going to delete lines we shouldn't be able to see. I shouldn't be able to see these lines and I shouldn't be able to see this line and this line. Now I'm going to, because I'm nudging, I can nudge, whoop. Remember we had it on six, put it back to six and nudge this up and over to six. That gives us the interior of our box, okay? Or it makes it look like a box. Now what I want to do is create this. So I'm going to move this out of the way because I want to work in the center of the page. I'm going to take a four-sided polygon this time. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to bring in some indexing lines. Now when I change this, to a three-sided polygon, Corel thinks the center is right there. Well, the center of rotation I need is right there. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, double click on the rotation and move the bullseye down. I'm going to click off of it, click back, make sure I'm there. I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. Now I'm going to group the whole thing together, control G, and I'm going to rotate the whole thing 30 degrees. Now I want to put this right here. Let me bring this down. I'm going to get rid of my indexing lines. The indexing lines help, but sometimes they can get in your way. Now, we need pretty much the distance. And you know what? My star might be a little bit big. So let's try to reduce it in size. Put it back. Because I want this distance to be about 0.45. And if we check with the parallel dimension, it doesn't have to be perfect. See, we're at 0.82. Um, you know what, that's still, I don't think that really plays into it. Because that looks about the same as that. Now we need to take a two-point line and go from here to here. But we need to move it to this corner with the four-sided cross. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus key on the keyboard and, and do the same thing over here. Okay, now I need two more lines past there. So I need that line and that line. So I'm just going to use a perpendicular line, holding down the, well, don't use your parallel dimension tool. Just hold down the control button. And I'm going to put that line right there. And I'm going to nudge it over 0.45. And then control D again, 0.45. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm actually going to make a duplicate of that. Move it over here. Whoop. Easier to grab it up top. Put it over here. 0 0.45, 0 0.45. Now this line's a little bit short, so I'm going to elongate it. Now, you don't have to, but I find it a lot easier to delete some lines so you won't get confused about what you're doing. Okay? 
now we need one more line from this triangle. I'm going to go right here, holding down the control button. I, I, I really had it on the other side. I don't know why I didn't have it on that side. So that gives us this shape. But we need one more line right here. You cannot nudge 0.45 um, at an angle. So you're just going to ballpark it. So we're going to grab that right there. And what we're going to do, we're going to just put it like where we think it should go, distance-wise. But then I'm going to put a line in the middle because the two lines that we do are going to have to cross. So I'm going to put a line here. So now I want to take this line and duplicate it. So that way it'll be the same angle. And I want it to mesh with that right there in that center of that bull's or center of that cross. And I'm pretty close. Just don't, uh, you need it like right. Let me zoom in some more. These two lines need to cross to make it work. Now we need to take our, if you take the shape tool, you can actually move this, but if you take that handle, you can elongate it. Now that looks like a world of mess. And it, it really kind of is. But if we go off this drawing, we need another line. Well, this line should have gone further. And you know what? That's the line we need to go off of right here. So let's, uh, let's take a two-point line. See, I'm just getting an angle when I'm drawing it on that line. We need to come off that line right there. So th forget this line. I made a fupa. So now take this line, hit the plus key and mirror it, and put it right here on this line. So there's going to be our, all this is going to get deleted anyway. Now we don't, like I said, we don't have to, but I'm going to delete this. Now what I'm going to do is, you know, and see, this is where it really plays into uh, getting with your head if you don't delete these lines. Because if you don't delete these lines, you know what, we needed that line. We needed part of that line. You know what, I'm going to uh, take this and just elongate it. So now we have this shape, and I want to take, this goes all the way to the corner. So I'm going to get my virtual segment delete key. I'm going to delete that. Now that center line's a little bit off, but for the video, I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be a little bit off. I need to elongate this line. You know, just looking at it, I'm off. Um, Well, it'll work. I just, I don't like this line being narrow. Let's take it and just move it down a little bit. Make it a little bit more even. And just try to get it in that cross, cross space. That looks better. Now we need to make sure this line is long enough so we're gonna expand it out. <clears throat> so this line's off now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's just see what it looks like. So this line is going to go all the way to the edge, like that line. I don't like that right there. Uh, that can stay. So this needs to stay, but this needs to go. See, we're not, this line needs to go at an angle here. Um, you know what? Maybe we just draw a short line. I've only done this one time. So let's get the same angle. I guess I should have practiced. There we go, that'll work. Plus key on the keyboard and mirror it and then put it right there. It should snap to if you're close. I know this is, seems a little confusing, but so we don't really need this line. Well, we're just gonna, like I said, we're gonna just delete this stuff anyway. So that gives us that look right here. So we don't need this line. 
I'm looking at the, see, that's where the screenshot's going to help you. I've got something off on the other side. It'd almost be easier to, um, do half this drawing and then flip it over. Um, something's wrong right here. Let me back up. So that line needs to go all the way. There we go. That need to like go in there. There we go. Now we got it. So now what we need to do is just move this out of the way. <clears throat> and I took one of my lines, if you see. Let me back up. I got a little close to it and grab that red little line. Now we're going to set our nudge factor on like seven inches and I'm going to smart fill everything in. I'm going to, well, I don't have to delete those lines. I'm going to smart fill that. Well, I do have to delete some line. I need these lines deleted. I know this. You're probably going, Doug, this is the worst video you've ever made, but it's just a little, little difficult, but it's fun. It's a, it's a cool, pretty cool project. Now I think we have it. Yes. Okay. No, I need to delete these lines. And this is where the screenshot is really going to help you. So now I think I backed up, probably took away. No, my nudge factor is still set on seven. Nope. One more line to delete. Back up. And I had to do this on the first one because you can't, you can't see everything. There we go. Now, nudge that over, nudge that over, nudge that over, that over, that over, that over, that over. I see one more line I need to delete. I need to delete this line and this line. Now, smart fill that. And what's going to really help in just a second, when we take all this and right click a black outline, see? That's what it's going to look like. So I'm glad I did not nudge anything. So I'm going to, I mean, I'm glad I nudged. I'm going to group that and I'm going to group this because I need this center of this um, item. Center of our triangular six-sided star. Now you see I've got the, the blue uh, selected. Control D to make a duplicate, double click on the rotation and put it in the center of that and rotate it 120 degrees. Control D and then you can take this and delete it. And you have that. I'm, I truly apologize that, that I made a few mistakes, but <clears throat> you're gonna make mistakes when you draw it. But if you will take a screenshot of that right there, it'll make life a lot easier. Anyway, kind of a cool, fun project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.